Salutations and good morrow, everyone, and welcome back to our next episode in our Grounded playthrough, where in the last episode, I did something kind of stupid. I forgot to get wow, Pete some water before we went to sleep or anything baseball. like that. So Says I'm just going to hop up here and grab some water. Ouch. That's fine that I got hurt a little bit. That's all right. But we have water now. We also have some food um, and we need to do a couple other things. So before it becomes nightfall, we are going to run right on over here and we are going to do a little bit more researching if we possibly can. Yes, we can. OK, so I'm going to get some weevil meat analyzed because what that should do is the yes, it's going to unlock our weevil shield, which I really, really, really want. I'm also going to analyze this chunk right here because that's going to unlock our workbench and let's start working on getting ourselves a workbench down because without a workbench there is no armor there is no weevil shield there is no anything so we need both of those items as soon as possible all right this is also going to be the start to our base i'm going to be getting a little bit of stuff done for our base today i need to get some raw science still and go over and get multi-story bases from burgle um that's going to help us be able uh to where do i want to put this how do i want to put we're gonna put that like that i need more sprigs good thing i have some i want to be able to actually build like a floor to your base and all of that so that's the purpose to this there we go super build go here nice weevil shield i need some grub hides some crude rope which i can make easy and then two more weevil meat um, which means I'm going to have to go out and actually start fighting some stuff. Uh, clover poncho. I'm going to need more crude rope and then some more clover leaves. I'm going to go ahead and get what I can made and then we'll throw on this armor. Go. That should keep you safe. Mm, safer. A little bit more. Pete, just a little bit, but that's still fine. All right. Now, I need lots more crude fiber, or plant fiber and crude rope. And I need a lot more clover leaves. So, we're going to be working on that pretty much right away. Alrighty. Run over here, grab some more clover leaves while we can before things start getting too exciting. I'm also going to eat up a couple more pieces of food here. I'll probably wait until it's about 20 uh, o'clock in the day um, to actually go to sleep like I would normally. Um... Let me get that nat fuzz, please. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Bring these over to the base. Grab this. Bring these over to the base. Let me just give this guy a little poke in here really quick. Thank you. I'm going to need to make a shovel. Because without a shovel, I can't get grubs. And without grubs, I can't make... Uh, my shield and that shield right now is like one of my a number one priorities especially now because now I found the last weevil that I need so we might as well go grub hunting to get ourselves our shield I'm gonna leave those there for now so I have four pieces of grub meat at the moment I'm actually doing really well gotten kind of lucky with the spawn drops for weevils I've gotten lucky with the taze tea being frozen. Um, let's see. There's a lot of dewdrops around right now. So really, I mean, it's it's kind of a lucky start, to be honest. All right, here, let's hop down here. Go here. Make an acorn shovel really quick. There we go. Craft that. Ooh, I can make an egg corn chest plate. I'm gonna go ahead and make the egg corn chest plate because it's gonna give me more defense. Um, 
I will make the poncho here in a minute. I just need some more pieces. But for now, now. this is going to give me more defense. So that's going to help me out in the long run. It's night mode. Let's hope that our weevil meat doesn't go bad. Tiny Pete's ready for some tiny rest. Still dark, but that's okay. Set our respawn point. It's two hours from dark or from light, so we should be able to go pretty quick here. How's my weevil meat? Weevil, 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 weevil. Okay, so everything's still good. Go ahead and get this researched. Get this researched. And get this researched. Nice. Put my shovel over the rock because I really don't need that there. All right, we're running this way. Okay, to the oak tree. Got a phone call. So had to take a pause there for a moment. Little juicy juice there. I know it's still dark. It'll lighten up here in a moment. And as long as I can get grubs pretty quick here, let's just get this guy really quick too. Because that's just a little extra weevil meat, so in case something wants to spoil. But I need two grubs really, really fast. And as long as I can get them, I will be golden. And I can make my shield. Where, oh where? Old grub friends, where would you be? I hear one. I hear two. Oop. I see ya. There you are. Okay, there's one. I think I needed three grub hides. Is that what I need? What was it that I needed? How many? I make this shield so little. Okay, perfect. And then two crude rope. Alright, let's go back home. Grab the plant fiber on the way home. There we go. We got everything we need for our shield already. Nice. Better than starving. We'll just give Pete a little snacky snack on the way home. Couple mushroom. Yeah, while I was there, I should stop by Berg, but whatever. Not a big deal. We can always go back to Burgle, it's not a big deal. Ba -da -ba -ba. Okay. The one bad thing about not having the full set of the um, gear that I want to be wearing right now, which would be the Clover gear is I'm not getting the bonus from it, but I'll live without the bonus for now. There we go. Nice, nice, and nice. All right, blocking just got that much better and that much easier, which is good. The next things we want to work on now is getting more acorn stuff. So I need to get some more egg corn or some more crude rope so at least we can make the faceplate. And then the legs, two and one. Actually, it's just a lot more fiber right now so I can make crude rope. I need a lot of fiber, so let's grab a lot of fiber. Then once we're done with this, um, the next base that we have to take on is the hedge base. So we'll be doing the hedge base next. After the hedge base, we will do the underwater base um, or the pond base. After that, we'll go over and do the haze base and then we'll conquer uh, the black ant lab. And then we will, after that, work our way over into the upper yard area. Um, and at some point, I'll turn off the gas. I'm not sure when, but I will turn it off. 
I don't know if it's going to be before I do the haze base or after I do the haze base. I haven't decided that far ahead yet. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. Whatever feels right. I guess if I have everything. Because, I mean, you need a tier 2 shovel in order to do the haze, to plug the haze. Because you need the gum. But... Okay. Ready? There we go. Let's get that made. And these, I need a couple more pieces of sap for. And one more piece of crude rope. So, while we're here, I'm gonna leave on the armor that I have on for now. Let me make this. Very good. Here's the sap that I need. Double good. Alright, so now I have most of a piece of survival gear. And a piece- and two pieces of- three pieces of battle gear. So I have a good set of battle gear to start off with. Um... Maximum health, which is good. Heavy armor, which lengthens the delay for stamina regen. And also blocking strength, we get that. And then I also have the uncrackable set bonus. Um, so I'm harder to stun. And also you take less damage when blocking. But um, if I need to, I can throw on this clover set. And that'll make it so my food and water last a little bit longer than, they're, than they normally should. So, okay. So, uh, buttons on your underwear. What do we want to do next? I guess research a couple things because I don't quite have 2000 raw science and I'd like to upgrade my weapon a few times before going over into the um, the hedge base. All right, cool. Unlocked brain power level two. Level 3, I already have all the pieces. Level 4, I will almost have all the pieces. If I go underwater, I'll be able to get this. I just need to go get, um, literally a piece of lily pad wax, and I unlock both of those items. Okay. Let's do this. Let's put this away. Put some of this stuff away. I don't need it right now. Um, I really should make a bow, though. Can I make a bow? Yes. No. I need two more pieces of fiber. Where? Oh, where? There you are. There we go. And now making arrows won't be that hard. I'm going to grab those out and then hit a thistle plant which there should be one that's right over here yep see a little purple tufty in the distance ouch coolio here we go so there's a reason why i like to do the hedge base um, next, because when you do the hedge base next, I feel like that you get a couple items that you would not be able to get this early in the game from the spider sacks. Um, web sacks is another good name for them. Uh, you could get some items that you wouldn't normally get this early in the game from there. So that's a little bit of an addition as well. So being you, I think if I remember correctly, you can get everything you need for a tier two hammer and a tier two axe just from the web sacks. So that's one of the reasons why I like to do that. Also, I may push this episode out a little bit more. Um, the first episode did good. So maybe I'll push this uh, episode out even more. Uh, to make them about a half an hour each, just giving us a little bit more uh, gameplay with them. All right, here, I'm just going to put all this in here and then make the arrows and just carry the arrows. There we go. I'll carry two sets of 10, so I'll carry 20. That's a good amount of arrows for this point in the game. This gnat fuzz, I really, really would like to get a roasting spit made. 
or not nat fuzz, nat meat. Almost enough pebblets. Look at that. It was like it was meant to be. There we go. Now that meat's not spoiling, I can put the spoiled meat in here because we'll use that for... Well, something will probably come and eat it, to be completely honest. Something will probably come and try to eat that, and then I won't have it anymore. Okay. Base. Base, 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 base. Um, burgle, then base. Because... I'm going to need weed stems and stuff like that and grass stems, grass blades to make my base. And I don't have multi-story bases yet. So it's kind of useless right now to try to make a base. But yeah, we'll, we'll make a base. We'll at least get one base made. And then um, I will probably call it an episode after we get the base made. And then the next episode will be pretty much me running and getting um, the hedge done well at least we're gonna try to get the hedge done which means i'm gonna need to to gather up some mats so i can make a lot of healing items i don't think that i'm ready for that yet no not yet not until i have an upgraded spear at least um am i gonna be ready for a orb weaver i mean if push comes to shove and it's the only option that i have i mean i'll make it happen captain not that that's what i want to do but i can make it happen Thanks. I mean, I do have the shield, which means blocking is faster and easier. Um, I could hit him with the hammer and knock him out, but I would really, really like to get an upgraded weapon before we go crazy with that. That, that, that was... That was lucky. I don't even understand what just happened there. I don't... I don't even understand what just happened right there. That was a wolf spider that just literally was just like, Hey bud. And just kept on walking. I don't get it. I do not... Maybe it was like, not yet. You're not ready for that much punishment in this game yet or what, but... Something about that really just was like, nope, we don't need to kill you quite yet. Which I am okay with at this point. Bergs! What work do you have for me? Uh, Clover Proncho, Chip Sleuth, Grave Robbery. We'll accept that one, because we'll have to get that soon. Alright, let's see. Multi-story bases. That's 1,000, so we're going to buy that, and then I just need to sit here and save up 2,500 for the smithing station, which actually isn't that bad. That's that's not too bad. I can definitely get that. I'm really surprised I didn't get attacked by that ore weaver right now. I'm like, I'm a little bit shaken because the ore weaver was right there, but, or not the, it's not an ore weaver, it was a wolf spider, it was worse than an ore weaver. Makes an orb weaver look like a joke. Especially in woe mode. I mean, that's one hit, even wearing ladybug armor in woe mode. So, yeah. Not so much fun if you take that guy on head on. What I should do... Is try to get some orb weavers to fight a ladybug. Become the king of, of getting other things to fight things for me. Water filtration tablets needed. Because then... Things fight, and they die, and then I get their pieces. And I can just move on. Okay, back home. And we'll start laying out our base. Then I'll cut down some pieces and we'll make up a base and everything will be pretty and funny and functional and all that. Mm-hmm. 
I'm just trying to keep up a bunch of mushrooms because I don't want to run out of food, especially with how little mushrooms actually give you for food-wise in this game. Alrighty. Almost home, so I'm just going to go ahead and swap armors really quick. Make my food last longer. And then we're going to start getting to work on uh, harvesting up grass. Excuse me. Excuse thank you. Those done? Those are done. Nice. Okay, this looks to be like a good spot to me, so let's get building. And we're going to start with some regular gra grass floors. Not that I can really see what the heck I'm doing. Okay, we got to get those in there. All right. Always focus on getting... More than one blade of grass cut if you can. Also, this light armor is nicer for harvesting in early game because what this is going to allow us to do is for our stamina to recover faster, making so we can cut down more at one time. Now, I would like to get the ant armor for building for later in the game when we start doing larger building projects because I plan on making a larger base in this. Um, and another thing that I'd like to do. So right now I'm, t I'm definitely prepping to go on vacation. So there's going to be one of these grounded videos coming out every day while I'm on vacation. Um, as I said in the beginning of the last episode that I'm going on vacation. Um, but one thing I would really like to do with this series is pull in special guests to invite them in for an episode or two, um, and have them come and just kind of help me out with our survival mode game that we have here. And, you know, I'm talking special guests from anywhere from my moderators to other YouTubers to heck, maybe even somehow getting the, the developers to come in and, and make a video with us. So, um, just fun little ideas, um, that could come from this series later on. Um, because I haven't been streaming as much as I would have liked to be streaming, uh, lately. I've been yes, using the excuse of I've been busy, um, is kind of like, really? You've been busy? It's like, yes, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I have been busy. Um, oops, wrong button. Ooh, they're going to need to change that. The cancel button and the, the peeper button is the same button, but, um, Yes, I have been busy um, getting together some other stuff. I've also getting ready to play Elden Ring, which is going to be really cool. And I'm hoping to stream that to start and then um, other things. But and then I'll make some videos on it as well, hopefully. And I think Elden Ring comes out today. The day that I'm recording this, I believe it comes out. Ooh, look, we got cardio fan. Nice. Let me put that on. First mutation already. Nice. Second episode in mutation already. And I know this seems really silly. Like, Sim, what the heck is this tiny base that you're building here? You know, why is it just a floor? Why aren't you putting up any walls? Um, because this starter base is a lot like building up on top of the... Um, on top of the log that's over there that I normally build on, which will probably be where I have another outpost later on in the game. Uh, you do not really need um, all of that. You don't really need a wall and stuff like that in your first base. Walls and second stories are when you run out of room in your current base or for pure aesthetic. There's, there's no reason to have a wall in the game yet. Uh, that doesn't mean I won't put walls up at some point, but for now, um, I'm just going to get this floor built and that will be the start of our first base um, and the, the probably the end of, of this video as well. So looks like we have um, just a couple more grass blades we have to fell. I'm going to end up getting the grass master perk as well here soon. I feel a lot more safe. I don't know if it's just because I have the shovel 
or what, but I feel way safer now. Oops. Now that I have all of this stuff set up. Like having a, a little bit of a base, having my lean-to, having, you know, the, the shovel, the tools and everything that I have, knowing in the next episode that we're going to be going on and taking on the hedge. So knowing that we're in a really good spot, already having at least one perk or mutation is big for me as well. So, so far, like I was th saying, I think that this series is going really, really well so far. And I'm very excited to see where it goes in the future. So um, let's get these other two planks put on here. One and two. And then that is going to do it for us this time, guys. So thank you all so much for watching this episode. Like I said, uh, there's going to be a grounded video that's coming out every day for at least the next couple days um, of this playthrough of us going through. There's going to be tips spread throughout, as well as me talking about some spoiler things throughout as well. But I'll always call out um, if there's going to be a spoiler or not. Um before I actually say it, but there will be tips given out throughout these episodes as well. So I hope you guys are enjoying these. I hope you guys enjoy the grounded videos. If you do hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.